only spot in the U.S., at least our little stretch of the eastern seaboard that actually did see temperatures above average today. Take a look at this. Memphis, Tennessee only had a high of 48 this afternoon, high of only 60 in Nashville. Birmingham was only at 70, so this cold air is knocking on the back door and it should be showing up for our Halloween and only getting colder heading later into the week. You can see this cold air is really um, uh, just engulfed most of the U.S. It's really just the southeast that hung on to a little bit warmer than average temperatures today. With this big temperature difference is thanks to a cold front and whenever you have uh, that pushing through, you usually have the opportunity for a few showers out there. Now, right now, we're not expecting a ton of rain with this front pushing through Tuesday, but there is going to be the opportunity maybe for a few hit and miss showers for those trick or treaters out there tomorrow evening. Doesn't look to be a washout. I'm not expecting a ton of rain, but uh, could you see maybe a quick shower if you're walking around the neighborhood between four and eight tomorrow? Absolutely, but it doesn't look like anything that would be too significant. So as long as you can handle a few raindrops, I don't think you should have to cancel anything Tuesday for trick or treating. Take a look at how much those temperatures cool off even more by Wednesday. We're waking up in the 30s and then high temps only into the 50s Wednesday afternoon. To put that in perspective, our high temp today was 85 in Augusta. Our high temperature Wednesday is going to be 30 degrees colder than what it was today. So this is going to be the coldest air we have seen so far this season, and it is going to stick around for a few days. I mentioned the chance for rain for our trick or treaters. So we're looking at our two different high resolution models here, and you can see there's a big difference between them. So our high resolution rapid refresh model, we sometimes call the HER, that is going a little bit wetter than our in-house IBM graph model. Both of these are just uh, have a frozen point right there at Tuesday, 7 p.m. So this is just giving us uh, what radar could look like around that time frame. So both solutions, I would say, look okay for most of the CS array. Even though there's a lot of green on that map, a lot of it is expected to be south and west of Augusta, and it will be passing through. It won't just be constantly on top of us. So this is why we're just saying maybe a few light showers doesn't look like anything too significant, though. So I want to cancel going trick-or-treating just yet. Uh, but the really cold air will show up behind this front tomorrow. So by Wednesday morning, we're waking up in the 30s. That's not close to record lows Wednesday, but by the time we get to Thursday morning, that's when we are expecting morning wake up temps in the upper 20s. 29 is what we're going with at Bushfield. That is only one degree away from tying the record low temp of 28 set back in 1954. So this is going to be a cold stretch and potentially getting close to record cold for us for this time of year. The wind chill, that's also going to be a factor. So along with this cold air, it's also going to get pretty breezy with this cold front moving through. So I uh, feel like temperatures in the 50s most of our Tuesday. And then as that really cold air pushes in Tuesday night, our feel like temperatures are wind chill. That's going to be all the way down into the mid and upper 20s Wednesday morning. So even though our temps may not actually be at freezing Wednesday, it's definitely going to feel freezing, if not even several degrees below freezing for us. So definitely going to need that winter coat for most of the day on Wednesday. The combination of that cold dry air along with those breezy conditions will also bring an elevated fire danger across the region Wednesday. So a heads up, not looking good for outdoor burning. If you can help it, try not to start any fires around your yard. Anything that does start would be very difficult to contain. All thanks to relative humidity being below 35% all day long Wednesday, and we're going to have a good steady north wind at about 10 to 15 and could gust up to 20 at times. So uh, just very dry fuels in place. We haven't necessarily seen a ton of rain lately. So uh, once again, those fires can turn deadly pretty quickly. Uh, here's a look at our wind gust speed. So with that front pushing through tomorrow, we're likely going to see these winds gusting 15, 20 miles an hour over the next couple of afternoons, but uh, not excessively windy, but breezy enough to just make it feel colder and also just bring us that fire danger threat. So a heads up for that. All right, seven day forecast. We do have these cold temps in store the next several days. Uh, you can see even by Friday morning, we should still be waking up close to freezing. As we roll into the weekend, our temperatures do look much more seasonal. Mornings in the 40s, afternoons in the 70s. Right now looks mostly dry this weekend. Some models are hinting at maybe some rain Sunday, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but also remember this Sunday, is when we fall back an hour. So that's when we actually turn the clocks back. And once we get to Sunday, that's when our sunset is before 6 p.m., actually close to 5.30, believe it or not. So take advantage of the slightly longer days while they do last, because that is heading our way this weekend. Hopefully you have a great evening, and we'll have another update for you coming up on News 12 at 11.